Hello, uh, the good people at um, Evolution Power Tools UK have, um, have sent me this um, R255 SMS um, dash DB plus uh, sliding miter saw uh, for me to try out and, uh, and do a review. And, and they've also sent me this um, stand for the mitre saw. So um, I'm not going to do an unboxing and a put together on, on this video because uh, I've done another video which I'll put a link to at the end and, um, and there'll be a little picture at the end that you can click on. And, uh, and you can and you can go and have a look at that review and it's uh, much more in depth it shows you unboxing uh, what you get in the box put it together and um, and demonstrating some of the um, features of the saw plus a little um, project um, making a little cutting board but it's quite a long video so I'm uh, I'm also doing this this video, which is a, a short version, just to show show you some of the features of the saw. So I've already put the I've already put it together, and um, and we'll go over and have a look at some of the features of the saw. Well, here it is, set up on the stand. Um, you can see here we've got the uh, the rollers that extend extend the stand up to a width of 1.8 meters really handy for um, cutting long boards uh, so it supports the board while you're cutting it uh, the stand is very chunky and very solid and uh, yeah it's well made and uh, we've got the brackets here that fix to the saw and it does take certainly any um, evolution saw and, uh, and many others as well and uh, and it just locks on to the stand with these two levers uh, really simple to take on and off and um, and solid the actual saw uh, an aluminium base nicely ground and uh, little extending pieces there and the um, and the fence when you're cutting it at a cutting a bevel, you extend those fences out, take it out of the way on both sides. <coughs> and then just undo the lever at the back and you can tilt it over to 45 degrees. Put the pedal that way, pull the button out and it'll tilt the other way and you can cut 45 degrees that way as well. As you see, you do have to take those to the full extent so they don't get in the way. 45 degrees that way. Pull it back up to the centre, clicks into place and then lock it up again. Um, it also turns to cut at angles and to the, uh, both ways and it's got stoppers at some of the uh, more useful angles uh, 15 degrees, 22 and a half, 31.6 and 45 and it will move over that little bit further to 50 degrees if you, um, if you do want to cut that little bit more of an acute angle and it has all the same stoppers on the other side back to the centre and lock it up and it's all nice and firm we've got the, the lever there that allows the guard to go up and the machine head to go down we've got a trigger at the back nice and easy to use We've got a laser line that brings the, that's on the uh, right hand side edge 
of the um, of the blade, and we've also got um, a ruler on this side, so you can line your piece up with that, and uh, say you wanted um, a three-inch piece there, you line it up with the three-inch mark, and uh, up to the laser, and the blade is three inches, and it's uh, I've tested that out. It's pretty accurate and uh, and I've done some cuts on that are square uh, so straight out of the box it's uh, it's it's square that way with the um, with the bottom the blade is square with this and also it's square with the fence straight out of the box and I've tried it at 45 and it's also very good as well we've got a, a depth stop just here, you can see just here, there's a, a lever that, that drops down and this bolt rests against it and, uh, and you can move it up and down and, and that stops the blade um, from going all the way through. So you can set it at different depths and cut through at a certain depth which is very handy and lock it off with that and if you're not using it lift the lever up and it goes all the way down if you do need to adjust the angle at all on the uh, on the blade uh, to the to the base there's a uh, there's a nut there that you can make fine adjustments same with the fence, if you do need to adjust the fence, we've got uh, little bolts at the back here that, uh, that you can make adjustments to the fence to keep it square with the blade. But as I say, it comes, it comes pretty good straight out of the box. We've also, we've got a, um, I'm just getting camera, we've got an Allen key and that does, that's good for the blade change and uh, and for adjusting the all these bolts so whatever you need to do on the machine uh, can be done with this one allen key and that's kept in that little place in a little rubber washer there so it doesn't pop out uh, for dust collection it's got a bag that fits onto the uh, back of here i'll be honest the bag doesn't really collect much. Uh, I've tried it with the bag on, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't it doesn't collect a lot. But you've got a little attachment here that you can put in the back, and you can you can hook your uh, shop vac up onto there, and you um, and that and that will help a lot to reduce the uh, amount of dust around uh, with your shop back on it'll uh, it'll suck up a lot of the uh, sawdust we've got a clamp here press that button in drop it down you tighten that down and it holds it holds the piece in place while you make your cut that's a nice little uh, nice little design loosen it off and pull it down and then just finish it off with the turning the knob that's a nice little touch. We also have another clamp that comes with a machine and, uh, and it fits into there and this one clamps up against the fence so it keeps it keeps it nice and solid that way. Um, don't tighten it up too too much it only needs just pinching up because if you put too much force on it you could actually uh, push your fence back a little bit so, uh, so we can tighten that up. We can also have this one on, and uh, and that piece is going nowhere. And you can make your cut nice and safe. Very handy. And I haven't seen one of those before. That's quite a handy little uh, little addition. All in nicely made and uh, really solid. I'll do a few cuts just to show you show you the machine working. So, a square cut. 
This has got the, um, it comes with two blades. This has got the multi um, material blade. So we've got a nice 90 degree cut. Loosen that off, bring it over to 45. If then, if we wanted, uh, we call the compound mitre, we'd loosen that off, bring it over 45 degrees, tighten it up again. We've got it at 45 this degrees this way, and we can do a compound mitre cut, which is. same it'll go the other way so loosen it straight back up if we bring it back to 45 pop it over to 45 tighten it up If you're doing skirtings or anything, it's very handy to be able to do it all, uh, to bevel it both ways. And we've got another cut that way. Okay, so there we have it. The R255 sliding mitre saw, uh, double beveled. Uh, um, it comes with two blades, um, multi-blade and a wood cutting blade and, uh, and they also do a, a package deal with the stand. It's, uh, it's a really good bit of kit, I've used a lot of chop saws over the years and, uh, and this one is as good as any of them uh, and that includes some of the big brand names. Um, it's got all the features that you could want and uh, and it's uh, and the build quality is really good so uh, yeah i will be using it on site and uh, and i've got no no problems uh, using this uh, on the on site um evolution have given me a promotion code uh, of uh, which is cornish c o r n i s h and if you type in that, if you're buying one, you'll get a 5% discount. So, um, uh, so there you go. Um, if you want to watch the longer version of this video, you can uh, click on the picture at the end and, and watch that. It's, uh, it's got a few more things on it, uh, which you might find interesting, hopefully. But, uh, but anyway, yeah. To sum it up, Great bit of kit, you couldn't go far wrong, especially at this price. Um, so, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Goodbye.